Hey, what is going on guys? This is Tharshay and today I'm going to show you guys how to fix iSpoofer. So if you guys play Pokemon Go and you're spoof and you're on iOS, you'll probably use the app called iSpoofer, but sometimes this is what happens. When you click on it, it says unable to verify app. So all you have to do to fix this is you hold down on the app, you have to delete the app, and then you just re-download basically. So to do this, you go to Safari, you open your thing and you go to iSpoofer. I will leave a link to the iSpoofer website down below in the description, so don't worry. I will leave that for you guys if you're having trouble finding it. Now all you do is you click on install now, the newest version. And basically the reason why you're doing this is because they have to continuously get new security certificates that are uh, legal or allowed. So yeah, every time they get a new security certificate, you have to delete and re-download. But if you follow this process, you will have no problem doing it. Okay, so now we shall see it should be downloading. Okay, as you can see, uh, Pokemon Go is going to download now. And I will be back as soon as it's done. So you can go here. Profiles, okay. Yeah, I'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay guys, now that Pokemon Go has finished downloading, I'm going to show you exactly what to do once you go inside the app. So you see when you click on it, it'll say Untrusted Enterprise Developer. So all this means is you have to go to your settings. Go to general, go down, go to profiles and device management and you'll see enterprise app and it'll have a name of some company. For now it's Shanghai Giant Network Tech but other times it'll just be a different company. All you do is you say trust, you go trust, then you go out of here. And now if you go in it will open the app. So let's just wait for this to load and then we can, okay, uh, notifications don't allow. If you want notifications on, you can turn that on. I personally don't like them, so that is why I got them turned off. Okay, uh, uh, allow Pokemon Go to access your location. Uh, I just say allow while using app, because if you do want to play legit, then you do need that on. Uh, now this, you just enter your own butt date and stuff, so uh, let's just go with this. And, okay. Submit. Now returning player. Let's just move this up a bit. Okay, and now uh, we go. You can sign in either with your Niantic account, your Google account, or Facebook. So I'm going to sign in with my Google account, and I'll be back as soon as this is done. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I've signed in with my Google account. Just wait for this to load. Okay, cool. And now we're in. As soon as I'm in, I'm just going to turn off the sound. Otherwise, it's going to interfere with the recording a bit. But you can change where you have your joystick and stuff. You just like double tap on it. Uh, Pokemon Go likes to ask camera. Okay. Now let's wait for it to load. Okay, let's go here. Settings. And. Okay. You can turn on battery saving. Unfortunately, Adventure Sync does not work when you're spoofing. So that is one thing that's a bit not the best. But yeah. Pokestop nominations at level 40. That's cool. Okay, let's turn off sound. Where is sound? Music sound effects. Okay, cool. Now let's go just move this around a bit. So you can move this anywhere on your screen. If you prefer it on the left hand side, you can move it to the left hand side. If not like that, then it's fine. Okay, let's close this. And now I'm just gonna show you the settings of Ice Boofer and what you can change. So oh wait, hold on, what's this? Oh I just clicked on that. Yes, okay. Close this. Okay, so now you can change the speed at which you walk, because right now if I walk, I'll be walking at 6 k's an hour, so you can go edit, delete all of these, and you can add your own custom speed. So I normally have like 40, 45, and then I have 120 when I just want to run. And then you go X, and then you can go here, yeah, and you just change it to whichever one you want. So for now, I'll just have the 120, then you can have your teleporting, so you can either read the rules or you can just skip that, and then you'll enter your coordinates or your hotspots here. Then let's go to settings. You can also auto walk, but some of these features do require you to pay for ice poofer. So I'm just gonna show you the free stuff. You can use enhanced throw for free. So you just go here, you go excellent. You can turn on auto rename, so it will rename by, I think, yeah, it'll rename by either stats or by moves. So that's up to you, but I don't use that. And if you pay for ice poofer, then you, if you activate the full version, you'll be able to use the rest of this, like the fast catch trick, auto runaway, auto runaway if it's not shiny, and all of these other stuff but I will turn on speed up map loading and yeah so now if you just want proof it works as you can see this is a joystick this is my location but I can move like I can literally just walk around 
obviously but I'm not going to interact with anything because I do want to teleport somewhere so let's go to hotspots and I'm going to my favorite location which is PR39 and boom we are at PR39 it's just going to take a little bit of time to load all the poke stops and gyms and stuff but let's just wait for that okay there we go now as you can see I can literally walk around here just if you want, don't want it to say I'm a passenger and you want it to actually record your uh, distance walked then you can change it to a slower speed so yeah it's like I can go spin this pokey stop and there you go see now I can spin my pokey stop I catch pokemon do whatever I want so oh there's a whole bunch of new pokemon actually and there's a raid <laughs> there's actually one okay yeah let's go do a raid quickly guys so that is over there okay maybe later okay now we're just gonna okay let's just move our speed up so we can actually go faster and let's just run over there so uh, as you can see I am running I'm using a joystick I'm not actually walking because you know I'm not actually in America so yeah that is the good thing about spoofing if you don't get out much you can use spoofing and you can still enjoy the game and have fun Okay, but you must just make sure you don't move your joystick around while you're in the raid otherwise you could cause you to exit the raid so be careful about that and if you guys do want to see, know how to spoof properly and safely because you guys don't want to get banned I will leave a link in the description to videos about soft bands, uh, shadow bands and how to safely spoof anyway let's get into this raid okay So we have 15 players and we'll end up with the full lobby. Let's just change our team. So currently we have ground types, ice types, okay. Arranged by combat power. Let's go Tyranitar, Rhyperia, Gyarados, Mewtwo, Tawana Mamoswine, Glaceon, and let's go another Tyranitar. I mean this is going to be an easy battle because obviously we have a full team. Anyway, I will be back guys. And okay guys, so we back and the raid is starting right now. And let's see how quickly we can take down this raid boss. This is a Latios. No, Latios. It's a Latios. Okay. And let me just spam attacks. You're probably not going to see me dodge a lot guys because I don't really have to because we have a full well we have nearly a full team we have 16 people so this boss is going to go down in no time because of that I don't really have to worry about you know making sure my Pokemon survive and all that I will maybe try dodge once or twice and I was a bit late on that dodge Oh, okay. And he's down. Oh, that's a Lapras. Nice. And there's a Metagross there. Tyranitar. Then there's a Algron next to me. Oh, Steelix. Or is that Onyx? It looks like a Steelix. Oops, Gyarados is not effective. Oops, that was a dumb choice, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. And the Latias is nearly dead. Gyarados is down, and Mewtwo, let's go. And we have won this raid yes nice let's hope I can, we can catch it I should get some bonus pokeballs because this was a valid gym you win yes nine raspberries candy stardust xp okay yep 11 pokeballs okay 89 IV yes this is nice this is really good a oh, ton of that Okay, now let's go and use a golden raz. And no matter how I throw it, it's gonna be an excellent throw, so at least I don't have to worry about that. Gotcha, first try. Perfect. 
and I just saw I completely missed. I didn't hit anything good, but don't allow. Mm, okay, but it's still gonna be an excellent throw. So that is really cool. Atias was caught. See, excellent throw, 100 XP, perfect. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you guys want, you can join my Discord server. I will leave a link in the description as well as in the pin comment. I also have a Patreon you guys can support me on. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.